Mavoko Member of Parliament Patrick Macau has been arrested in connection to Azimio Mandamano Wednesday. The incident occurred during the early hours of Thursday, July 13, 2023, when police conducted a raid at his residence in Karen, Nairobi at approximately 4 a.m. Subsequently, he was escorted to the Directorate of Criminal Investigations offices in Kiambu. MP Patrick Macau, who won his parliamentary seat on a wiper party ticket, has been implicated in the violent activities that unfolded during Wednesday's protests. The demonstrations led to significant destruction at the Mlalongo toll station of the Nairobi Expressway, resulting in its temporary closure along with two other toll stations to prevent further damage. These events have transpired in the face of a stern warning issued by the Cabinet Secretary for Interior and National Administration, Kathure Kindiki, who vowed to apprehend and penalize the leaders, organizers, and financiers involved in the protests that occurred on Wednesday. In an official press statement, Kindiki declared that the government has mobilized all law enforcement agencies to thoroughly investigate, arrest, and prosecute those responsible for planning and executing the criminal acts associated with the demonstrations. This announcement served as a warning to leaders affiliated with the Azimio movement. Professor Kithure Kindiki strongly criticized opposition leader Rayla Odinga, attributing the current wave of lawlessness and disregard for the rule of law to him. Kindiki labeled Odinga as the epitome of violent politics, citing his involvement in various contentious incidents, such as the attempted coup in 1982 and the post-election violence in 2007-2008. According to Kindiki, Odinga and his associates have consistently engaged in risky political maneuvers that have jeopardized the stability of the country. The Interior Cabinet Secretary further stated that individuals who directly or indirectly participated in the demonstrations would face legal consequences in accordance with the law. Some media outlets are reporting the death toll from the protests as nine, this includes one in Amali, two in Kitingela and four in Imlalongo. To get more news leave a like and comment below this video. Also don't forget to subscribe to the Kenyan News Channel.